guys welcome back okay so as you read by the title it's time for me to shop my stash again i'm ready to switch it up try some different products and just kind of see what's cracking for the next couple of weeks with my makeup okay <laughs> so let's go ahead and get started by picking out my serum moisturizer primer and setting spray first Okay, you guys, so I'm over in the corner of my room where I have all of my serums, moisturizers, setting sprays, and primers. So I think for serum, that actually is going to be pretty easy right now because um, this Pure Heels, which is right here in the front, is one that I have really, really been wanting to try out ever since I got it in my subscription box. And I heard my girl Cara from K's Ways say that she really liked it. So I'm going to try this one out for a couple of weeks and see how I like it. Now for a moisturizer, <laughs> that one is going to be kind of tough. You guys know I've been using my e.l.f. Hello Hydration Moisturizer for the last couple of weeks. Love, love, love it. It is an amazing moisturizer. Um, I also tried out this Juno & Co., this is their, what is it called? The Moonshine uh, Moisturizer. Excellent moisturizer. Oh, but right here, you guys, my girl Lily sent me this moisturizer. This is, what is it? The Momond Rose Water Gel Cream. Oh, I use this stuff and it is so bomb. Really really enjoyed it so yeah i'm gonna go ahead and pull this this is like one of those like water cream gels and it is amazing and it smells just like roses so yeah we're gonna go ahead and pull this for this week now let's go ahead and pick a face primer i typically like to pick two just so that you know i kind of have an option this one is new for me this rimmel mattifying or stay matte primer i don't think it's new to the market but it's new to me it is yeah just a mattifying face primer so i think i'm gonna go ahead and pull this just so i can try this out y'all know i love trying out new stuff <laughs> and let's pull one more this tart one oh my gosh i almost used this up you guys it is so freaking moisturizing the um double duty beauty base tape <laughs> this stuff is really nice but i won't pull it again let's see i haven't oh you know what i need to use this some more this is my tatcha um the silk canvas <laughs> sorry i'm all out of focus this is the tatcha silk canvas primer but this is the liquid one and i do have this cute little sample that i got from sephora you know when they were giving these out to try so i'm gonna go ahead and use this some more it wasn't anything special it performed to me just like the regular tatcha primer but it's just in a liquid form i actually like the solid form better than this so i'm gonna go ahead and use this some more so i can kind of use that up and let's go ahead and pick out a setting spray i'm kind of tempted to um just use the one that i've been using i've been using this uh wet and wild matte finish setting spray you guys i like this stuff oh my gosh it is leaving my face looking nice and holding my makeup in place like for real for real so uh, I'm gonna pull that just so I have the option <laughs> just so I have the option um gosh what else what else uh do I have any other setting sprays you know what I have all of these cute little max setting sprays that I'm really not using so let's go ahead and pull one of those and you know how about this one this one here is, I don't know, whatever. You know, it's the floral one. <laughs> I, can't, I can't read that. But anyways, this is a floral scented one. Is it hibiscus or something? Let me see. Eh, whatever. Yeah, honey, I don't know. Whichever one it is, I'll put it on the screen. But I'm going to go ahead and pull this one because I bought all these little things. And these mugs was expensive as hell for these little bottles. So I need to use these. So I'm going to go ahead and pull that one also. Okay, you guys. So these are my serums moisturizers primers and setting sprays for the week 
Okay, so now that we have those items picked out, we can move on to the rest of the face, okay? So as usual, I'm just gonna kinda go in the order that I do my makeup because that helps me to not forget anything. <laughs> and I am going to pick some palettes for this go-round and whether or not I get to them all, who knows? But I am gonna pick some palettes, okay? So let's go ahead and pick a foundation since I have all my foundations sitting here already. Now, you guys know I did just get the Uma Beauty Foundations. And while I was a little skeptical at first about the Uma Beauty Foundations because they are super watery, I mean like straight up watery, um, these foundations actually look really nice on me. I got two shades that I mixed together and it makes my perfect shade, but I actually really liked those foundations. Okay. So it's kind of tempting to pull those again, but I'm not going to do that. Um, I have not used my black radiance foundation in a while. You guys, if you are looking for an extremely affordable, lightweight, light, coverage foundation it's actually kind of buildable though and it looks full coverage if you kind of conceal any issues that you have but if you're looking for something extremely affordable that you know works really well this oil free found oil free foundation from black radiance i really like so i'm kind of tempted to pull this actually i think i am gonna pull this <laughs> Yeah, I'm going to use that for the next couple of weeks. Now, today on my face, I actually have the Milani Screen Queen Foundation. You guys, this is a really nice foundation. I like the coverage. Very nice coverage. Very nice finish, okay? And, you know, it doesn't feel heavy or anything on my face. So, I think I'm actually going to pull this as well. I used this, like I said, for my look today. And I was like, okay, I think I might be using this this week. So I think that's what I'm going to do for foundation, the Black Radiance. This is their Color Perfect Liquid Makeup, oil-free, like I said. And I'm going to do the Milani Scream Queen. Okay, guys, so next I need to pick a concealer. Um, I'm not really sure about my concealer this week because I'm really kind of like, man, I... I know I have enough concealers, but I kind of want to try some new concealers and I actually ordered some from Ulta. So whatever concealer I pick might get kind of bumped by one of the new ones that I ordered, but I've just really been in the mood to try out like some affordable concealers. And so, um, yeah, I did place an order, but I think what I'm going to do, mm, you guys know I love my Juvia's Place concealer. Oh my gosh, I have this on today as well. This I would use every day, okay? Every single day. I love the Juvia's Place concealer. I also tried out the Uma Beauty concealer recently, and it's actually not a bad concealer. It's a little bit thick for my liking, though. A little bit thick, so I'm not going to play with that <laughs> right about now. Um, You know what? I have this little sample of Tarte Shape Tape Concealer that I got in one of my monthly subscription boxes a while ago. And I honestly feel like I need to use this because, you know, I'm sure it's getting old. I haven't used it. I tried it out once. I think I thought it was okay. I didn't see what all the hype was about. So, you know what? I'm going to go ahead and pull this and see, you know, how I feel about it. Uh, what else? Y'all know I always got to pull like two or three concealers. You know what, y'all? I am going to pull this um, Instant Age Rewind Eraser Concealer. Last time I used this, I was like, what is all the hype about? Because everybody loves this concealer. Let me do like this so you can see it. Everybody loves this freaking concealer. And I was like... What is all the hype? I didn't even really like it that much. So I'm going to get this one more again. I'm going to get this one more try because I'm like, what is it about this concealer that everybody loves? And I'm just like, mm, I don't know. Maybe it's the color that I picked. I don't know, y'all, but I'm going to pull this as well and see. Just one more again. <laughs> see if I can kind of, you know 
make myself like it, I guess. If not, then honey, I'm probably gonna declutter that because I don't see what all the hubbub is about. So these are my two concealers, the Tarte Shape Tape and the Age Rewind. Okay, you guys, so I need to pick a loose setting powder because you guys know I set my highlighted areas with a loose powder before I go in with pressed. Um, my collab, y'all know that's my favorite, my collab. This is the, ooh, child. This is the Set the Stage Ultra Fine Loose Setting Powder. I love this powder, you guys. It used to be my favorite, but the Becca Hydra Mist kind of knocked this off of its throne. Um, I have this L'Oreal Infallible that I picked up. This is their loose setting powder in the shade Translucent Medium Deep. That's what the packaging looks like. I don't know. It looks kind of dark for me. Dark to me. Oh, I haven't even opened this yet. Ooh. It looks kind of dark to me for my under eyes. I think this will have to be more of like an all over, you know, face powder, which I don't really like to use loose powders all over my face, but I'm going to have to because I paid for that. Uh, what about this Maybelline? I have the Black Radiance Loose Setting Powder. This one is in the shade Banana. So this is the Banana Loose Powder from Black Radiance. I also have this Maybelline Loose Powder Shine Free. It seems like I remember trying this out and not really caring for it all that much. Um, but I don't remember. It looks pretty fine. Yeah, it looks pretty fine, you know. I think I'm going to try this out again. Yeah, I'm going to try this out. This Maybelline Loose Shine Free Setting Powder. What else do we have? Ooh. I have this Bare Minerals Mineral Veil. This one is Original Mineral Veil. So is this translucent? I mean, I don't know. Let's take a look. Oh, it looks kind of like, you know, it's a light shade. It looks kind of has like a little bit of a pink hue to it. Hmm. I don't know. It looks pretty light. Uh, I'm going to try it though. I'm going to try it though. This Bare Minerals, it should be pretty good, right? I'm going to try it. Okay, so I need a pressed powder to set my whole face. I really don't have a lot of different pressed powders to choose from. I mean, you guys know I have my Too Faced Multi-Use um, Complexion Powder and Spiced Rum. Works excellent. I have it on today. I also have my Super Stay Full Coverage Powder. This is actually, is this a foundation? No, it's just Full Coverage Powder. But this is really nice. I think I kind of like everything from the Maybelline Superstay line. This powder is really, really nice. Of course, I have my Sephora Micro Smooth Powder as well. This stuff works really, really nice. I have my Kiss Pro Touch Matte Powder Foundation. Excellent, excellent powder that comes from the beauty supply store. I think I'm actually going to pull this one now that I think about it. This one I have in the shade Toffee Caramel, and this is what it looks like. So yeah, I think I'm just going to pull this one for this week. I also just purchased um, another Black Radiant Soft Focus Finishing Powder. I used to use this finishing powder like all the time to set my face. And then I think I kind of, I don't know, I kind of got tired of it, kind of feeling like, oh... It wasn't really a good shade for me. I don't know. But I did buy another one because my other one was like super old. So I decluttered it a while ago. This one is in milk chocolate. I think I'm going to try this as well. I'm going to go ahead and pull this. So I have the Kiss Pro Touch Matte Powder Foundation. And then I have this Black Radiant Soft Focus uh, Finishing Powder to use this week. Okay, you guys. Bronzer. <laughs> Bronzer and contour is going to be hard this week because I actually have a couple of new items, but I still have some older ones that I need to use more. So this might be a little bit difficult for me. Now, I did pick up this bronzer from Sephora. It's called Sephora Bronzed. Very simple. <laughs> Matte bronzer in Ibiza. And I'm really curious about this because this 
looks really, really nice. Um, I have not tried this yet and I'm really curious about it because it kind of looks like mm, it ain't gonna do much, but I don't know. I don't know. So this is a strong maybe, the Sephora one. I also picked up a new shade in the Morphe Glamour Bronze. You guys know that the Phenom is like my absolute favorite from the Morphe Glamour Bronze. Ooh, child, this bronzer is bomb. It is my favorite. But I picked up this one here, which is Leader. And although it looks very similar, it just, let me hold them up together. It looks a little, I don't know. Is it a little more rich? I don't know. I don't know. But anyways, these are, and it kind of sucks because the background is different, but this one is Phenom, which is my favorite. And this is my new one, Leader. So Leader does look a bit richer, maybe a little bit warmer um, to me. And I think that I might like it even more than Phenom. So I kind of want to try this out as well. So am I keeping the bronzer simple? Yeah, I'm keeping the bronzer simple. I'm going to choose my Sephora bronze and my new shade in the Morphe Glamour bronze, which is Leader. Okay, you guys, so let's go ahead and pick a blush. Blush might be a little tricky for me as well because mm, I just, I don't know. I don't know. You guys know this past couple of weeks, I have been trying out this BH Cosmetics marshmallow truffle palette uh this blush palette so so nice you guys i love it definitely recommend that but i'm not going to use that again i also have been going ham with my alamar blush this one is in the dark rich oh all three of these colors so so pretty i use this color today the peachy kind of corally shade i had that on today very nice um I got this milk makeup stick. This I guess is like a cheek and lip stick in my boxy charm and part of me wants to try it out, you know, just to kind of see. I'm just not into the cream lipsticks or I mean the cream blushes and stuff, so I don't know though. I don't know. I don't know. You know what? I'm going to force myself to try it. I got it in my box. I paid for my box, so I'm going to force myself to try it. This LA Girl Island Hottie blush palette. I think I chose, I might have chose this last time, and I never actually used it, so I'm still curious about it. It has the really pretty peachy tone to it, and, you know, I'm kind of like in the mood for like the soft peachy type blushes lately, so you know what, I think I am gonna go ahead and pull this just to kind of see what happens, if it's just dusty or if I actually get any color. Y'all, I have a whole nother drawer of blushes that I'm like, where are all my blushes? <laughs> I'm like, I'm missing some blushes. Okay, here we go. Um. Okay, so, Oh, you know what, you guys, I really do. Wait, 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 wait. Since I'm in kind of like a corally type mood, maybe I should pick this one instead. This is the sleek one, and it looks a little bit more rich, a little bit more bright, you know? Yeah, I think I'm gonna pick this one instead. This one is from Sleek. It is the Blush by 3 palette in the shade Flame. So yeah, this one is definitely more rich than the LA Girl Island Hottie. So we are gonna put that to the side again. I probably shouldn't even bought that y'all, but I did. And then I'm gonna choose one more. So I have the Milk Makeup, the Sleek. Okay, since I already have like the corally type uh, blush pulled, maybe I should choose one of these kind of like more pinky plummy colors for an option. This one, of course, you know is calling my name. This deep one right here. Ah, uh, what color is this? buried away so yeah this is buried away from minted oh yeah we pulling her okay so that's three blushes i think that's enough okay you guys let's pick a highlighter dang you guys i almost forgot i said that i was going to use this natasha denona um diamond and blush citrus palette i've been sitting here looking at this palette <laughs> 
past couple of weeks is scared to use it because I'm not really sure how it's gonna fare on me but I'm I promise I'm gonna use it so I'm putting that there I'm gonna use that too but now it's time to pick a highlighter okay so the last highlighter that I was using was a gift it is the Marc Jacobs this one is Omega Glaze in the shade Jet Girl so oh my gosh this highlighter is so freaking bomb so pretty can't use that but it's gorgeous just in case you're curious Ooh, now the highlighter i have on today just in case you're curious this highlighter today is actually my ofra this one is the ofra yeah this one is the ofra and nikki tutorials highlighter in everglow y'all ofra makes the absolute best highlighters when it comes to just giving you that beautiful just smooth oh uh, look at that look at that it's so gorgeous Ooh. i think i'm gonna pull this <laughs> i had fun with this today so i'm gonna pull that okay i also picked up this highlighter here this is from sleek makeup i actually saw my girl dj using this and i was like girl I had to have it, okay? And it's not even really my stilo because it's like, you know, colored highlighters. But y'all, when I seen her swatch this from her shop mustache, oh my gosh, I was just, I was in awe. So let me swatch it for y'all so y'all can be in awe too. Look at those colors. Isn't that so, so pretty? It's like you can use this as, you know, highlight if you're not afraid of color, but you can also use this as eyeshadow. So I think I'm gonna pull this to play with because <laughs> it's so freaking pretty. The only thing about that is that it was limited edition. So they weren't selling it anymore. I actually found mine either on Amazon or eBay. I don't even remember one of them. I think it might've been on Amazon. It's the highlighting palette in Love Shook. So yeah, it was like special edition, okay? Y'all might have to hunt for it like I did if you are interested, but honey, it's so pretty. Okay, I think that's enough for highlight because I have the Natasha Denona Blush and Highlight Palette. I have that Sleek Makeup Highlight and I also have my Ofra Highlight, so. I think that's enough for choices of highlighter. Now, I don't typically choose like lip products because there's too many for me to choose from. And it depends on my eye look. And I don't choose like eyeliners and stuff because that also depends on my eye look. <laughs> so, but I will go ahead and choose a eyeshadow primer for my eyelid. Now, my girl sent me this P. Louise base, honey. I love this stuff. It's bomb, okay? It is absolutely bomb. So that's like a guaranteed nice eyeshadow base. I have the shade Rumor 4. So I think I'm gonna go ahead and pull that just so I have that as an option. You guys know I did test out this Profusion uh, No Budge eyeshadow primer and it's actually a really good eyeshadow primer. It really is. I've done some pretty bold looks using this, okay? So that's a good eyeshadow primer. Um, I also tested out this e.l.f putty eye primer which i assume is supposed to be kind of like a dupe for the mac paint pot but although it is a good eyeshadow primer it really is i don't know if it's a dupe i think the paint pot might dry down a little bit drier a little bit smoother i don't think it's an exact dupe but it's a decent eyeshadow primer if you want to check it out and you don't want to pay the price for the mac paint pot this is new. This is from Pretty Vulgar. This is an eyeshadow primer that I actually just got in my monthly subscription box from BoxyCharm. So how about we try this, you guys? Let's go ahead and try this Pretty Vulgar. Um, I've been pretty lucky with the products that I got from them. They've been working out pretty well. So yeah, I'm gonna try that. So I'm just gonna pull these two, P. Louise and this new Pretty Vulgar eyeshadow base. We'll check it out, okay? Now mascara, this one is <sighs> always hard for me because it's like, you know, mascara is such a particular thing. Now I'm so excited because my girl sent me this Thrive Cosmetics mascara and I have been wanting that mascara. I complained 
about that mascara for months and months and months because I could not go through a whole, you know, tube of this mascara. It took me like damn near a year to go through a whole tube of this. And at the time I was complaining because of the fact that I wanted to try something new, but I didn't want to open anything else. And I fell in love with that mascara. It's like nothing that I've used since then compares to it. So I'm so glad my girl sent me that. Thank you, Lily. Um, you know what? I do want to try this though. This is the Maybelline Lash Discovery. It says mini brush mascara. I don't even know who I saw use this or why I bought it, but honey, I have it and I want to try it out. And y'all look at this tiny little wand. Look at that. I think that I picked this so that I can use it on my lower lashes, to be honest with you, because this thing is so freaking tiny. So I'm going to pull that and check that out, but I'm going to pull something else as well, okay? Because that look like that might be a little too small for my lashes. This Pretty Vulgar Mascara, really, really good. I have it on today. I think it adds volume, not necessarily length. It doesn't add a lot of length, but it does add volume, okay? So I do like that. I have this here, this Grand Mascara. It says Lash Boosting Formula. Uh, is that the brand? Because I don't even see another brand on here. Um, And I don't know where I got this from or why. It looks like a very thick formula. Um, you guys, let me know in the comments if you have used this. I don't recall using this before, but I have like two of these. And so I actually want to try this out. And <laughs> I really want to know, like, I guess the brand is Grand Mascara because that's all it says on here. I must have got this in a subscription box, honey, I don't know. But I'm gonna pull this too, just so I can check it out. So I'll pull those two. If I don't like them, I reserve the right to pull something else, okay? <laughs> so that'll do it for mascara. Okay, you guys, so let's run through these palettes that I chose um, to possibly use over the next couple of weeks. These are palettes that I hope to use, but I do reserve the rights if I change my mind to pull something else, okay? <laughs> so this first palette here, oh, and for my eyebrows, you guys know I typically use my LA Girl Shady Slim Pencil. I did switch back recently to my e.l.f. Lock-On Liner and Brow Pomade because I wanted to, you know, switch it up a little bit. And I'm feeling the, the pomade a little bit right now, so I'm going to use that, my e.l.f lock on liner and brow pomade okay this first palette is from makeup obsessions it's one that i got from target i picked up a few of these makeup obsession palettes from target because they just look really nice this one is called is it ratty dusk looks like ratty dusk but when i saw this i was like oh yes 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 let's go ahead and play with that let me take off this plastic it just looks so pretty to me. It's not even like my typical colors that I would gravitate to. And I think maybe that's why it kind of like appealed to me, but it kind of has like a little bit of cool tone grunginess going on and I'm feeling it. I am. So this is one that I really, really hope to try out. I also picked up this Glam Light Street Taco Palette. I don't know if this is their latest palette at this point, but yeah, it is the smaller taco palette. I did grab the larger one as well, but I kind of want to use this one, this smaller taco palette. It's funny because um, the shades in these taco palettes are very similar. Honestly, if you have one, you don't need the other. And I didn't really notice that until I actually already had both of them together in my possession, <laughs> but they're very similar. So I don't think you need both of them, but this one is really, really cute. And so I'm gonna try and use that. Next, I have here one of my certified palettes. This is the Affinity 2 palette. And y'all, I've had this palette for eons. You guys have probably already seen it before with me saying I wanted to use it, but let me just do like this so I can see what I'm doing. These are the colors in this palette. So, you know, of course, it will be a green and blue look <laughs> or one or the other, but most likely I'll mix them together. But this palette is so freaking pretty. Next, I have here this palette from BH Cosmetics. This is the Fairy Lights palette. So, so pretty. Oh my gosh. <sighs> this is what this palette looks like. And I have not used this yet, you guys. This palette is so 
gorgeous. Sorry about the glare, but it's so pretty. You know, it has a little pink, a little blue. The, um, you know, the neutral shades are a little cool tone for my liking. I mean, there's this one down here, which looks a little bit warm, but it's a very, very cute palette and I need to use it. I fell in love with this when I saw it and have not even used it yet. I also have here from Lunar Beauty, this is the Strawberry Dream, one of my more recent purchases from the Sephora sale. And so I'm sure you guys are familiar with this palette. This one is pretty as well. Also has like the plums, the blues, the pinks, pop of yellow, some pretty shimmers. So I need to play with this one. I also got this Flower Balm palette from Midas Cosmetics. Look at the packaging, you guys packaging on point super cute but this is what the colors look like in this palette oh isn't she pretty so so pretty okay gorgeous i also pulled a couple of my amore us eyeshadow palettes this one is the snow queen now this one when i saw how they did this color story i was like oh my gosh that is so pretty so so gorgeous look at the color story ah because it has the blues but it has the beautiful warm tones also those greens it's just gorgeous i love how they combine the shadows for this palette together very pretty and lastly i also picked from amoris this is the havana blast eyeshadow palette and this one screams like spring definitely screams spring summer hawaii just all of that good stuff very very pretty bright you know pinky orangey purpley type palette so yeah this one is really pretty as well some gorgeous like glitters and shimmers in here to play with so how many palettes is that one two three four five six seven eight <laughs> eight different palettes okay if there is a palette in here that you guys are like really really dying to see put it in the comments maybe i'll do that one first if i get a lot of the same one but yeah we'll see y'all y'all know how i am when it comes to palettes i have to use whatever works for me that day <laughs> so yeah guys so that's it for today's shop my stash i hope you guys had fun picking out these items with me this week and i hope you look forward to watching me use them in my upcoming videos so thank you so much for hanging out and i will see you on my next video Toodles.